and uh, welcome to a raid on uh, Bungling Bay. At least I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, but as you can see, this is by uh, Will Wright, who uh, would go on to do the uh, Sim City games. So this is one of his earlier games, and certainly quite an early game in the 64. But uh, it's quite a sophisticated game. Uh, it's, uh, it's certainly a not as simple as it looks. Uh, there's quite a lot going on in the background, but uh, you can sort of see how uh, uh, the, the um, how it would progress onto uh, some city. I think uh, in terms of the way things are built up. And, but uh, enough of that. Right, let's get started. So you start in this little carrier. You control this helicopter. You press fire to take off. And you push forward to accelerate, and it's left, right to rotate clockwise, anti-clockwise. So the control is quite simple. It's just fire to fire normally, hold in fire to drop bomb. Now the idea of the game is to destroy uh, all these factories. There's one here. I can't remember how many, I think there's... Yeah, it tells you somewhere. Factory 6, it tells you at the bottom there. Now you have to destroy these and uh, before they uh, complete... Uh, these factories, what they do, they make components for an enemy carrier, which is getting built. In fact, that's where it's getting built. It appears here. Uh, little boats take components, you, you'll see them in the water here. Uh, they, they, they ferry components to, for, uh, in order for the construction of this uh, enemy battleship. So you've got to destroy the factories, uh, but the thing is, as you destroy the factories, the, the, the defences become uh, a lot harder. So it's quite easy to destroy the first couple, after that uh, it starts to become a bit hard. So let's just... Uh, and the factories start to become more resistant to your sort of bombs. So. So I've run out of bombs here, so there's a little arrow at the bottom left, that tells you where the c your carrier uh, is. So you can only carry nine bombs, so you've got to come back and uh, stock up. Now sometimes uh, your carrier comes under attack. Uh, so I'll destroy that first factory. Yeah, uh, a lot of the islands have little radar dishes, and if they detect your carrier, uh, they will send planes after your carrier to try and bomb it. And if your carrier gets bombed, then there's nowhere else, uh, you know, you've got nowhere to land, nowhere to refuel. Uh, there is a, a hidden cache on uh, one of the islands of, of, of some bombs, apparently, but I can never, I can't remember if I ever found it. Uh, but the instructions certainly claim there was. You can see the graphics are they're, they're quite. Uh, Quite sort of dull looking, uh, to be honest. But it's supposed to represent factory islands, so you know they're not going to look uh, nice and glamorous. But they do the job. They're, they're slightly functional. And the multi-directional scrolling is quite well done, I think. Ah, run out of bombs. There's, there's one of those little boats carrying components. Just blow him up. I think the, the, what makes this is the controls. The, the controls are great. Uh, you can really throw the uh, helicopter around a bit. Right. Oh, that's a black plane. That, that's a bomber plane. He's probably on, on the way to take on my carrier. Oh, there he is. So it's quite an early game in 64, but uh, I mean, it's. Uh, and graphically, okay, it's, it's definitely of its time, but, uh, but I think the gameplay uh, is still pretty good. It's a very playable game. It's a sort of dogfight with these uh, white planes. Now, when you take uh, too much damage, you, your helicopter is out of control, and you've got a sort of limited uh, level of control o o over it before it crashes. Sometimes you can sort of kamikaze uh, enemy buildings and things like that. Uh. Ah. There's a radar dish. Guys are trying to take up the carrier now.
You see the carrier is constantly moving south to north. Uh, the, the whole game world uh, wraps around. Sort of left, right, north, south. So if you fly in one direction, you, you will end up where you are. But it's quite a large uh, game world. Uh, and it is quite easy to get lost. Uh, this is sort of part of the game's appeal, I think. Uh, that's why it makes it more challenging. Sometimes you, you lose track of where that factory was that you're in the middle of bombing. I'm just I'm trying to find the en enemy carrier now so we can see uh, how much progress has been made. Oops. So when you get, once you get to a certain stage, the enemy start firing uh, sort of heat-seeking missiles. There's one there. You can outrun them, and they, they eventually explode. But. Uh, I think do. Yeah, I think he's gone. So, try, try and crash into this factory. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> right, uh, well, that, that's about all I can show you the game, really. I mean, there's not really much more to uh, to look at. Uh, it's just a multi directional sort of scrolling game with a, a sort of uh, living game world going on in, in the background. Uh, Oh, there's the enemy carrier, you can see he's half built already. What you can do is you can, uh, uh, you can bomb him to try and slow his progress. But what, what he does is eventually, once he's completed, so they, uh, he, he will make his way around to, uh, and destroy your, uh, your uh, carrier. He's quite a formidable opponent, so it's best to destroy him before. Uh... Oh, fuck it out. It's best to destroy him before uh, he's completed. Oh, managed to take some damage off him. Right, right. so um, yeah, what will give us game? Well, I still think it plays really well. Uh, um, yeah, I'll give this um, eight and a half out of ten, I think. Cause, uh, it's uh, still a great game. Just, just lacks some polish, but that's about it really, I think. Yep, uh, eight and a half out of ten.